Let's find distance of point A, 3, 8, 2 from this line measured parallel to the plane 3x plus 2y minus 2z plus 15 is equal to 0. Let's draw the diagram for this equation. We have given plane P which is this 3x plus 2y minus 2z plus 15 is equal to 0. Here is plane P. Now clearly this point 3 comma 8 comma 2 does not satisfy the equation of plane. That means this point is not lying on the plane. So this point will be external to this plane somewhere. So here is point A. Okay. Now we want to draw this line with respect to this plane. हम लाइन को प्लेन के रिस्पेक्ट में ड्रॉ करना चाहते हैं तो हमें सबसे पहले चेक करना पड़ेगा कि लाइन प्लेन को पैरेलल या नॉर्मल तो नहीं है नाउ फॉर दैट व्हाट इज नॉर्मल टू दिस प्लेन नॉर्मल टू दिस प्लेन इज वेक्टर n1 3i 2j 2k एंड गिवन लाइन l इज दिस व्हिच इज पैरेलल टू वेक्टर 2i plus 4j plus 3k. Now how we can check this line and plane are parallel or not? For that we will take dot product of vectors n1 and n2 which is uh, 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 4 and minus 2 multiplied by 3 which is 8. Now this is not 0. That means line is not parallel to the plane. Also, line is not perpendicular to the plane. The reason is vectors n1 and n2 are not collinear. That means line is here inclined to the plane. So let's draw the line. Here is the line L which is inclined to this plane. Inclined means it is not perpendicular to the plane and also not parallel to the plane. Now we want to find distance of this point from this straight line which is measured parallel to plane P. Here is the distance AB which is parallel to this plane. We want to find this distance. We have point A. So to find the distance, we have to find point B. Now, how we get coordinates of point B? Now our task is to find the coordinates of point B. Okay, in this diagram, point B is lying on the straight line L. Let's assign general point of this line to point B. So let point B is 2 lambda plus 1, 4 lambda plus 3 and 3 lambda plus 2. To find the point B, we will find the value of lambda. How we get value of lambda? We can see vector AB is perpendicular to vector N1. Now we can see vector AB is perpendicular to vector N1. Now how we get vector AB? Vector AB is a difference of position vectors of B and A. It is this. We are subtracting position vector of A from the position vector of B. So we have vector AB is equal to this vector. 2 lambda minus 2i plus 4 lambda minus 5j plus 3 lambda k. Now AB dot n1 is equal to 0 because these two vectors are perpendicular. So let's calculate lambda from this. We have this dot product is equal to 0. So we have 8 lambda minus 6 minus 10 is equal to 0. That means lambda is equal to by solving this equation, we got the value of lambda. Put the value of lambda in this. So coordinates of point B are 
5,11,8. Now we have point A, we got the coordinates of point B. So we can find distance AB using distance formula. So AB is equal to this using distance formula. So AB is equal to square root of 4 plus 9 plus 36. This sum is 49. So AB distance is equal to 7. 